Could be a passing down, but no, Peyton will go wide. And Peyton looks to be hemmed in, and he barrels his way close to a first down at about the 30-yard line. Keeping the ball on the ground, Walter Payton to the 35, 40-yard line, and Walter Payton may have gotten to within a yard of a first down, and he may indeed have it. Mike McCoy, the right cornerback, number 29, pushed him out of bounds on a superb run. Now, and Phipps will give it to Walter Payton. Tries to find daylight and does. Went right through the middle. Don't know how he did it. Game time. Here's Payton looking for a hole, and Waller has it inside the 30-yard line of the 29. It's a good five-yard game, and once again, those linebackers are having to make the tackles. Gary Weaver there. Phipps will throw and complete it for a first down to Walter Payton out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Douglas knocked him out of bounds. So back in 1970, gives it off to Walter Payton. Peyton inside the 30 to the 27 yard line. Good acceleration there. And oh. Peyton has a lot of room. Walter Peyton to the 20 yard line. 25. Bucks his way to the 30. And he may have a first down. I think he does. Walter Peyton with a brilliant burst of running. And he might have picked up all 15 right there before Hood made the tackle. Nagel, Richards, and Scott for Chicago. Phipps has time. Peyton has it, gives ground, he has a first down, Walter Peyton is loose, he's at the 45 and the 40, and he's tackled inside the 40-yard line, and took about field sense, Walter Peyton grabbed it, gave ground, and then looked for room, and in an open, they show a blitz, but they don't come at all, and fifth pass complete to Walter Peyton, Peyton gets by one, he's at the 20, and he can't spin away inside the 20-yard line, they have with fifth, five defensive backs for the pack, Third down on a draw. They give it to Walter Payton, who has a first down and more. Walter Payton, who has done it all for the Chicago Bears today, gets to the 34-yard line and a first down. Carters here trailing 6-3. to three. On a delay to Walter Payton. Oh. Payton still on his feet. Gets to the 40. It'll be short of first down by about four yards. Steve Luke once again makes the stop. He's been there all day. His flank way out in motion, inward. A third down play for Phipps. Firing over the middle. It might have been Walter who pulled it in. It was a great catch by Peyton for the Chicago first down. Here last week, all they gave up was a Chester Marco field goal against Green Bay. Walter Peyton turns the corner. Good game for Walter. It was the great Jimmy Brown. Peyton again. Small hole turns it into a big game. Give him any kind of daylight and he's gone. He is in Minnesota territory. Scott Studwell finally stopped him. He replaced Phipps midway through the second quarter for the Bears. He pitches back to Walter Payton. Walter turns the corner, has about five, and stops the clock by getting out of bounds. Playing hurt with Golden Richards in motion. Pitch back to Walter Payton. Change of direction. Daylight for Walter. Look out. Here he goes. 15. Across the 10. Across the 5. Touchdown, Walter Payton. motion golden richards back across the field now see there's no penetration there as walter just takes off here and james scott is running in front of nate allen it's 89 and 25 here's where walter shifts the ball waits for scott to throw his block and then cuts back into the end zone he does it all five seconds of the second half have been a nightmare for bud grant over the minnesota vikings Let's watch Peyton again as he scoots 43 yards for six points. He's now carried 12 times for 84 yards. They have seven seconds to get it off, and they do. Walter Peyton on third down. Does he keep their drive alive? He does. Walter Peyton got the first down. Ooh. In sevens, look out for the blitz. They try and bring Peyton around the right side. He eludes a couple. He stays on his feet and out of bounds. They'll try him again. Left side. And out to midfield. And has outgained the entire Minnesota team oh. on the ground. Here comes Walter around the end again. Walter breaking into some daylight. And Walter Payton into Minnesota territory before strong safety Tommy Hammond made the tackle. Lead back, Dave Williams, number 22. 
You'll see him downfield. There it is right there. It's to the right of your screen. He's down. He knocked the linebacker. Matt Blair down, and Peyton took off, and Hannon had to make the tackle again. As the... They have the ball first and ten, and they lead 19-7. Walter Peyton. Again, he cuts back against the grain. And he is to about the 36-yard line of Minnesota. Golden Richards in motion. Evans a pitch back to Peyton, who is bearing down on Rick Casares' all-time record. Now he's bearing down on the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Unbelievable, Walter Peyton. And did you see that high step in he did the last few yards? He wanted us all to see it. And the afternoon, his first TD scamper covered 43. Here it is. A pitch out of the eye formation. Reby Sorry, Dave Williams out front. There comes the block. Watch William uh, Sorry hit Sutherland. And now look how he's carrying that ball. Now lift those legs. Lift them, Walter. That's it. Just like the stallion. Rushing by Chicago Bear. They give it to him. Let's see what he can do. He's going to turn off some yardage. A penalty flag has been thrown. It might be a clip. Let's see if they're going to bring this back. Big game for Peyton, but I think he knows that the penalty is against Chicago. First, Mike Cobb for holding, and then Nate Allen of the Vikings for roughing. So they'll do the play over again. There's Mike Cobb there. You saw him falling. He held on Mark Mullaney, and then Peyton made the move there on Hannon and took off down the field. Cost the Bears... A lot of yards, and Walter Payton a lot of yards before he was knocked out of bounds. Leads his Bear teammates off the field. Chicago 26 and Minnesota 7. To the right. Scott inside him. Cowboys take a blitz, run a draw with Payton, and he's got some room. Oh. He has the first down, does Walter Payton. Finally knocked out of bounds by Benny Barnes and Dennis Thurman. Name is Payton. Watch him now, run the draw, get outside. Watch him run through Cliff Harris, number 43. You cannot arm tackle him. He just leaves Henderson. I don't think he's quite five foot 11. I think he's about 5'10". He bench presses 390. He is strong, fast. Here's Peyton. Oh, oh. What a step. Oh. What a move. Peyton out of bounds in the hands of Cliff Harris, but another bare first down. So Walter Peyton. Should be very close to at least tying Rick Casera's record as the all-time leading Bear rusher. Peyton will run it. Oh. Eight or nine yards from Walter Peyton. Bob Bruning had to come out from his middle linebacker spot to make the tackle. Rookie ever in the history of the league. They have three consecutive games like that oh. Oh. in his first time out. <laughs> Bob Brunig made the tackle on Peyton, but he squirmed for another Bear first down. Then seven, still the quarterback to pitch back to Peyton. Walter's got some room. Peyton nearly to the 40, out of bounds at the Bear 39, knocked out by Cliff Harris. Three wide receivers in for Chicago. Richard Scott and Bashnagel. Oh, it's wide open. Walter Peyton running hard and has the first down over the Bears 40 yard line Richard Wood and Curtis Jordan made the tackle on him big play for Chicago the play really worked uh, they've run this play quite a bit but you notice they had outside help there there's 69 Reeve sorry throwing the block here that got Walter around the horn and then here comes Wood to make the tackle actually since Wood was blocked he made a nice tackle there on Peyton to bring him down but they still got the first down Chicago network appearance of Magic Johnson Richards in motion and the pitch out to Peyton. Peyton cutting back inside the right corner and picking up about three yards before being pulled down by Jarris White. Number 45. It is second and seven again a gain of three for Peyton. You can tell that Peyton is carrying his left arm just a little bit gingerly compared to his right arm. It doesn't swing as he walks. And obviously it has uh, affected his, his uh, mobility a little bit as you see. First down for the Bears. 11.04 remaining. Latta brought the play in for Neil Armstrong. Earl and Peyton the running back. Vince Evans the quarterback, play action. Screen pass, Peyton running hard. Peyton's got room. Peyton diving, touchdown, Waller Peyton. Waller Peyton taking Jarrett White with him. The last five yards through the air. Got a good block from Golden Richards. 65 yards to the score. Formation there with Scott in. He clears the zone. And here comes Peyton out behind his offensive lineman. 
Good blocking at the point of attack, and then Peyton turns on the speed. It looked like he had it, had it, uh, had him trapped her for a moment. He carries it with one hand, gets through the hole, turns on the speed. Good block by Golden Richards downfield. You'll see him out in front. And then Peyton just dives. He started to cut back and then decided, I'm going to fly the rest away from the five-yard on line on. He flew five yards into the end. He was going up and down, up and down. A lot of people would drop the ball, but not Walter. And then this last five yards is really beautiful for anybody, even if you're a Tampa Bay rooter, as Golden Richards is out front, and Peyton takes off from the five and flies in for the touchdown. In five. Peyton. First down, and then some. A couple of more over the 40 to the 43-yard line. Pitch out Peyton. First down, and almost made the turn. Good defensive play on the corner by Mario Clark. Peyton. Behind the right guard, Story, and the right tackle, Lick. Got about six on the play. With his high-scoring Buffalo team, but not so far today. Peyton has the first down. Good ankle tackle by number 59, Shane Nelson. He's so far against the Chicago running attack. Peyton on first down, gets a block from Dennis Lick. Pulled out of bounds by Mario Clark. A gain of about five, maybe more. Let's see where they are going to be closer to about seven. Field goal, the only scoring attempt by either team. Peyton has got some room now and has a first down inside Bill's territory to the 46-yard line. Too many long ones. Okay, this has to go as a good call, the draw. Watch Peyton give the limp leg right here in the midair. Let's see that leg go up, and then he cuts back. He has that knack before Nixon brings him down. He has that knack of almost changing. Have been most of this first half, but they have nothing on the board. Peyton, running hard out the left side, gets to the 15-yard line. Now they shift to the yard. Peyton, a block from Earl. Hard running Walter Payton down near the 25 yard line. He may have the first down yardage. Shot. Payton behind Dennis Lick. Has the first down. Forced out of bounds by Mario Clark. Payton. Touchdown. Walter Payton. Up and over as only Walter Payton can do. He must have been six feet in the air, up over everybody. Just did a great, great leap. Watch it. They're up. They're up waiting for him. They're up, but he still gets over. Unbelievable. And well, down he goes into the end zone for the touchdown. A great play by Walter Payton. It's not the Fosbury flop, but it is certainly the, look at that, the, the height that, that he something? got. Walter, because <laughs> this is nothing but good. He would have been a great gymnast. He could, uh, I'm sure, take up any sport he wants to. He's Whoa. Peyton out of his end zone on the pitch out. Look at him work. Out of bounds, back at the 12-yard line. First down, Bears. Walter Payton's going to throw. Deep is Bashnagel open. He has it. Bashnagel, touchdown. Peyton to Bashnagel, and there are no flags down. Well, some razzle-dazzle for the Bears first down and they finally did it after all these years with Walter Payton who can throw the ball very well he threw this ball off balance there's the pitch out bash Nagel downfield it was all by himself now there he's holding it with one hand and just gives it a heave and it was perfect bash Nagel probably said hey please please let me catch it please please he got it into the end zone touchdown Chicago Bears and if you don't think that's going to help Walter Payton on his end runs I'll tell you you got another thing coming 46 to go here in the first quarter the Bears are in front, 7-3. to three. Let's watch it again. There's Dave Williams, number 22, out in front, helped out a little bit, and there was the pass, an excellent pass, considering he had to throw that really off balance, didn't get a chance to set himself. And Brian Bashnagel, who has done very well for the Bears this year, he does great on the specialty teams, and there's from their own 20. Peyton squirts his way for about six yards, maybe seven. Right. Inside the 35-yard line of Minnesota. Just dropped that shoulder and ran through a man on the corner. 
You talk about punishing the defenders. Watch Peyton here on this draw. Good block by Reeby Sorry. He slips out here. Watch Matt Blair, 59, right here. He doesn't even know where he is as he spins around, and Peyton just turns it on. Finally, Turner gets over there to push him, grab a hold of him, slow him down so that you get the pursuit, and finally, McNeil makes the tackle. Great individual running by Walter Peyton with some good blocking by the interior of the line. And whether they come right back with that play, having uh, made it so visible, we'll see. No, they don't. Instead, it's a draw. Peyton batters his way back for about five, maybe six yards near the original line of scrimmage where James White, number 72, puts the stop on him. We've got to like Peyton, period, as everybody does. Rolling at this. Look at this. Trying to find an open man. Touchdown! Walter Peyton becomes the pass receiver and has figured in both of the scoring plays, passing and catching. And how about this? Avellini coming out on the option, and he looked and looked and looked the intended initial receiver. As you see, Noah Jackson out there throws a good block for Avellini to give him time to throw the ball, and there was the alert Peyton into the end zone for the touchdown. Set on the wing. Power formation here. And they're going to throw. Good play. Ho! Oh. At the five-yard line, first down, Walter Payton sneaking out of that backfield. That's an old Green Bay Packer call, a third-and-one situation, the fake of the, uh, the handoff to Williams, and down the field, you take the chance, and it can get you great dividends, and Payton is very sure-handed. Finally, Turner makes the tackle, but the Bears are on the five-yard line with a chance to take the lead. Great play by the... Payton again. Oh. Good hole off tackle. Right, he's got first down yardage. Hannon finally drives him out after a gain of 13, maybe 14 yards. Glendon did the drop, took quite a pop, and Knopf left the field as uh, he obviously felt the collision, too. Here's Peyton. Peyton pulled down from behind by Paul Krause after a gain of close to nine yards. Peyton to the goal line. Touchdown! Seaman had him but could not contain him from breaking the plane of that goal line. And the Chicago Bears have opened the lead to 26-17. And he broke Matt Blair's tackle. 59 comes up to make the contact, and he broke that tackle and went forward, kept the legs moving, and then got through Seaman and the rest of them. Did that ball cross the plane? Hmm, mm. very close. Mm. Didn't look like it to me. Well, it's the old angle number there, I guess. Uh, you can see our angle is slightly in the end zone. Offensive weapon of their own, Walter Payton rushed for 162 yards, becoming the first back to gain 1,000 yards this year, and topping that magical mark for the fourth straight year. Shifting here now as Bashnickel comes into the slot right. Wide split from the back. And they're all out there. The blitz is on. It's complete to Payton trying to stay in bounds. He does. Payton. Gets inside the 30-yard line. The Lions appeared to have it shut down pretty well, and as usual, Peyton made more out of it. Doug English put the stop on him. A flag is it down on the play. Walter Peyton straight ahead, bursting through to the 12-yard line. Pulled down by John Brooks, the linebacker number 53, the first quarter. Peyton, touchdown. touchdowns in each of the last two games and this is his first of this game as the Bears take the lead by a score of six to nothing. The Bears from their own 12. Walter Payton he nearly got the first down but he's going to come up just a little bit short it would appear out at the 24 yard line with the injury to Burt Jones he re-injured his shoulder today. Payton he's got some running room and he's over the 30 yard line for a pickup of about eight yards on the play. The four-yard line in motion is the tight end call. They take the draw, now the screen to Payton. Payton gets close to the first down. He just pulled off a hit from Jimmy Allen. James Harrell finally stepped on. Fifth play action. Screen. Payton. Walter Payton did it on his own again. Luther Bradley pulled him down. 
But the Lions have done a good job of stripping down the blocking. Walter Payton. Big hole. 15-yard gain and a first down for the Bears out to the 39. Walter Payton off right tackle. Oh. Big hole. Payton to the sideline. Hunter holds him down. James Hunter inside the 25 of the Detroit Lions. So Payton moves off the wing back to the pro set with Dave Williams. Payton with a blocking escort. Got to the five-yard line. Payton. Oh. Hit a couple of times, six points. And look at that blocking up front there. Sorry. There goes Peyton up and over. Fantetti, 57, makes contact but cannot hold him. And Peyton goes into the end zone. Superior blocking in the middle of the line. Reedy Sorry throws a block. Pure for his back. Knocked back by number 70, Dennis Lick. And it goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Good play, Chicago. Run and cut back. Here it is. A quick screen. Notice how he carries that ball in one hand, but he's got big hands. Walter Payton with Earl blocking, and Payton getting outside and uh, goes to the 24 to the 23 and picked up the first down. That's that's what he does well. That looked like the Payton. High formation, starts up inside, bounces outside. Got by Osteen. No containment. First down. But it's Payton, and he's got it. He's got more than that, spinning to about the 11-yard line for a first down, and the anguished Ray Malavese looking at is back in there, and it's Peyton on a block by Williams. Touchdown! There's Walter a flag. Payton. Flag on the play. Flags on the play. Hold everything. The 55th touchdown run of his brilliant career. He is only three back of Larry Zonka. Here it is again. Rams defense inside charge. No chance. Run out of veterans. Walter Payton, who had been locked up all day, scored the go-ahead touchdown from two yards out. And the Rams, relying on a rookie, got away with it all day until the final quarter when Jeff Rutledge threw an interception to Hicks and then appeared to panic when he threw the interception to Livers across the grain. Phipps goes to the run. Payton, a loose tackle. Walter Payton takes it inside the 25-yard line down to the 23. <laughs> First and 10 now. Phipps hands off, and there goes Sweetness again. Turning the corner on the right side. That convoy again out in front. And Walter Payton drives the ball down inside the 20 on a first and 10 carry. Buttle finally knocks him down, but he gets some big guys out in front of him. He's got two friends there. Walter Payton back in there, ready to go to work. And Payton delivers a first down carry. And so they're challenging again. Pitch back. Walter Payton dances inside. And Payton spinning, turning it down to the seven-yard line. Payton turns wide. So quick. Looked like he was sealed off, put his head down, drove inside the Jet 20. It's a first down for the Bears. Back to those running backs. Payton again. Payton at the goal line. Touchdown is signal. And Johnny got their own 32-yard line. Oh, Walter Payton with a big hole off tackle. He stumbles and falls at the 45-yard line. Drop play. Payton. Payton, good hard running. Still going. Payton out to the 38-yard line. And he has it again with a good hole on the right side. Over the 45 to the 46-yard line before Brown stopped him again. Payton. Cut down by Leroy Selman, number 63, and the linebacker Dewey Selman, number 58. Behind Phipps, and this is Walter Payton. Payton breaks a couple of tackles. Chip wings to the right in motion. Payton goes behind Noah Jackson and Reedy Sorry, and what a block Sorry got. Penalty marker down. She courage to come up and take on somebody that big running. This Payton. out of bounds at about the 16 or 17 by Johnny Gray. Can he turn it on? It's such a beautiful sight to see when you're a Chicago Bear fan and you're playing with a runner like this. Look how he just 
really picks him up and puts him down. Unusual style when he gets through that hole, and he does that going in the end zone, too, when he gets that opportunity. The first half. Hurdles over a couple of blockers. What a run. Oh, good God. Talking to you. I got a feeling. <laughs> Here is Peyton. Peyton blasts down to about the 15. Pip gives again to Peyton. Peyton around the corner to about the 16. Peyton gets the ball behind his two guards. And again, he breaks for about 10. Following the injury to Schubert. Walter Payton's first carry off tackle has a first down. Out of bounds near the 42-yard line. It is still plenty cold. Green pass, Payton. Walter Payton running to the 11-yard line where Carl Allen made the stop. St. Louis 11. Payton wide. Beats the linebacker. Bumped out by number 23, Ken Stone. Got to about the six-yard line of St. Louis. It'll have to be a fast count. And they just make it again. Payton to the goal line, but no signal. Yes, touchdown. The late signal from the official. His signal, touchdown, Chicago Bears. We're going to see Dave Williams throw the block as he knocks Arneson outside. Noah Jackson, 65, throws his block. And you give Walter Payton a little running room to the outside, and I'll tell you one thing, it's a good thing that Ken Stone got a hold of him and brought him down because he had daylight all the way down the sidelines. Has a pinched nerve as a result of that hit. This is Peyton squirting through inside the 10 to the eight yard line. There had to be a little bit of hole here as he follows Noah Jackson, 65 comes through. Good blocking by Dan Neal. People were down on the field. Peyton was able to jump up over the line and get the yards, and it's Ken Stone, and he the lead back. Pitch to Peyton. through two tacklers to score for the Bears. This game of this season, and he's had a lot of them. Big Robin Earl's out front. Good block by Earl on Arneson. Knocked him off stride. Garlich comes over to make the tackle, and Peyton just high-stepped it into the end zone. The Bears lead 20-0, can make it 20. Robin Earl the lead back. Great move. Walter Payton inside the 40-yard line with some more brilliant running. Has a first down at the 39. Boy, did he put a move on green, number 25. As he comes right here, you're going to see 25 come from the tackle, and there he goes. He just busts the tackle. And finally, it takes three Cardinals to bring him down. Noah Jackson has come out of the carney, zook, and so on. Things should look better for St. Louis. Walter Payton running hard. Payton forced out at the 15. Walter Payton needs six more yards to tie Anderson. And he's got Payton. There's no touchdown signal yet, but he has caught Anderson. And the Bears appear to know it. The ball is marked at the one-foot line. 11 seconds on the clock. The Bears realize that Walter Payton has caught Otis Anderson for the NFC rushing title. And some great blocking up the middle by the middle of that bare offensive line. And Peyton puts his shoulder down, almost gets into the end zone as these fans have gone one down to Otis Anderson. And there is Noah Jackson, really sorry. They have to take credit, too, because that offensive line has done a job. And no running back gets that kind of yardage without some help. But if you're going to have somebody carry the ball, I wouldn't take anybody in the NFL. But Walter Payton, I'm not trying to malign old Otis Anderson. Die with Payton the deep one. Walter Payton with Williams trying to block on Wilkes, and it's a good block, and Herman Edwards brings him out. But a good block by Dave Williams. All of football, Walter Payton on a toss from the I formation, running weak side. Here's his running style. He's carrying the ball with both hands. Now he puts it in his left arm, lowers his shoulder, keeps his balance. This is what they have to do. Haynes is wide left. Here comes Peyton. Williams blocking that time on Randy Logan, and that made the play work. So Dave Williams 
blocked Wilkes to the left, Logan to the right, and has made the contribution for Peyton's run. He's made some big plays on it. This time it's Walter Peyton with Williams blocking, and Peyton still on his feet and goes out of bounds, having picked up the first down along the way. He got to the 30-yard line, and Jerry Robinson, who figures to be with Peyton all day long, pushed him out of bounds. Play action fake to Peyton, and then they release to Peyton. And he is grabbed from behind by Reggie Wilkes and brought down shy about the 41-yard line. And he'll have to get to the 40 for the first down. Fashnagel left and watch right. Here comes Peyton with Williams blocking on running. And he picks up the first down. And I'll tell you, Dave Williams does a fine job in helping Walter Peyton pick up the yardage. Releasing it to Peyton to the 25, 20, 15, knocked out of bounds. And the Bears are on a roll as they get down to about the five-yard line. John Shara racing over to finally push Peyton out of bounds along with Jerry Robinson. Walter Peyton hurtling and has broken the plane. Touchdown, Chicago. Watch him go over the top, and that's the way to do it. Over the top. He broke and that's the plane. Broken it. No, qu no question. Bashnagel is on a wing right. And Peyton trying to burrow in, and I believe that the Eagles might have been yeah. offside. And Peyton is in yeah. there anyway. Let's take another look at the right yeah. side of the Eagle line. His cage has pulled him off. What, what's there they go. Right there. Listening to the quarterback's voice rather than watching the ball. That's that same play again, what we call M hunch. Good sound play. You don't care what the defense is. And so Back in there with Dave Williams. And it'll be Peyton with Williams out in front. A flag on the play. And Peyton is out in the open. To midfield. Still going as he got away from Jerry Robinson. Herman Edwards still trying to drag him down. And uh, Herman Edwards got him back inside the one. There's but a there's a flag, flag on the play. Chief. It was an 85-yard blowout. Both of those good guards pulling, leading the play. Good blocking. Jerry Robinson will get a hand on him, but that's not enough. Shara is blocked out of it by Watts, and good finally Herman Edwards has him by the collar. And a good straight arm by Peggy. And it's you all know, for naught. Man, we've, we've said this on every, every week this year. Illegal motion. Number 84 on the offense, moving forward at the snap. First down. Fire. First and 10 on the Eagle 35. Walter Payton is back in there now along with Dave Williams. The back's release. Fifth over the middle to Walter Payton. He's jitterbugging at the 25 and gets down to the 22. Jerry Robinson is on his back and Frank LeMaster at the ankles. First down for the Bears. Well, Phipps had all day to throw here. He wanted to go deeper. And then he takes Peyton on an angle pattern. And Wal Walter always is... With a chill factor of 17 below zero, Chicago's Soldier Field could have been a perfect setting for movies like The Snows of Kilimanjaro, or perhaps even Ice Station Zebra. What it became, however, was a frigid backdrop for a remarkable Chicago Bears offensive display. Number 34, Walter Payton skated and slid to 157 yards and route to three touchdowns in the NFC rushing title.